Argentina's new president, Alberto Fernández, drove himself to Congress to be sworn in on Tuesday. He was accompanied by former leader Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, now vice president, to take his presidential oath. Fernández spoke about the promise of a social pact to address poverty levels that are now reaching 40 percent. I want to be the president who listens, the president of dialogue and agreement to build a country which belongs to everyone. And if you ever feel I get diverted in the commitment I assume today, go out to the street to remind me of what I'm doing. After the speech, thousands of supporters waited for the new president in the historic Plaza de Mayo, right in front of the presidential palace. Alberto Fernández is taking office in a country that currently has around 60% inflation rate and the possibility of defaulting on its sovereign debt. But in spite of this, people here say that this day is to celebrate the comeback of the Peronist party to power. The Peronist party is the strongest political movement in Argentina since Juan Perón came to power accompanied by his wife Evita. Janina Miranda came from the northeastern province of Catamarca. She says Fernandez's job won't be easy. We have to make a huge effort to help the new president cope with what Mauricio Macri has left behind. We cannot expect miracles. Center-right president Mauricio Macri was not able to fulfill many of his economic promises. On Saturday, he bid farewell to his supporters. These years were much harder than I imagined always in the minority. There were many bumps on the road, but thanks to your support, we achieved many things, many things. The rise of Alberto Fernández to power shows Argentina is once again shifting towards the left. Present at the swearing ceremony was Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel. The absence of Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro, who once called Fernández a red bandit, shows the ideological differences that now divide South America's largest economies. But on Tuesday, Alberto Fernández spoke about unity and the importance of dialogue to overcome political divide. His supporters agreed with him, hoping he'll be able to cope with the difficult times ahead. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.